finally your USC debut. It's, it's felt like it's a long time coming. What's your emotion like right now? You know, it's really sur surreal, you know, it hasn't even really hit me yet. I don't even know if it will hit me. I don't know if when I'm going to the, to the Octagon, if I'll be thinking that there's tons of people watching on TV, you know. Um, usually I'm like a really game player, so I think I'll just be focused on the fight, you know. I'm just enjoying the process, uh, there's so much support. I'm like representing USA, Brazil, Jiu-Jitsu community, women, so, women, so I'm just representing a whole package of things, you know, so I'm really happy. It seems like people have wanted you here in the UFC from the very beginning of your career. I mean, they, they had you pegged here. Did you feel like, absolutely, yes, I'm going to take the fast track there? Or did you want a little time to kind of develop your game? For sure, I wanted time to develop, but I more wanted people to have, like, understanding, you know? So um, I wanted to come into the UFC faster, just because I imagine I'm, like, a black belt world champion. I was, like, at the top of my top of my game, you know? I left jiu-jitsu not, like, losing and things like that. I left it, like, where I could keep going and winning more, you know? So to come back to zero, it's hard, you know? You want to, like, be with the big, the big dogs, you know, fast, you know? So I, I knew I wanted to take time, but I thought that the UFC was, like, where I needed to be to develop at a good pace, you know. Of course, I don't think it's good to stay uh, in your comfort zone for too long, you know, and I think that the UFC is what was going to push me to each fight have different obstacles. I've seen comparisons to Ronda Rousey. That seems so <laughs> tough, you know what I mean? Like, she set such a high bar. Obviously, her, the end of her career wasn't as great, but the, the, the history that she made. Do you do you welcome those comparisons? Do you like that? I mean, it's nice, right? But it's, it's kind of a, a lot. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, everything that she's done for women's MMA and women's, women in general, you know, like, if people see me and they remember her, you know, like my story reminds them of her story, then I'm happy, you know, I hope I can inspire and do as much as she did for, for a woman's MMA that she has done, you know. I think people just need to be a little bit um, with their minds open, you know, that we're different people, two different personalities, two different uh, styles, you know. Um, so I think the comparison is nice, it's a compliment, I, I really appreciate it, but you know, it has to, I think has to have a line, you know, but I think after my first fight, they'll see like, okay, this is a different person, you know, Mackenzie is Mackenzie. Talk about the expectations, I mean, managing people's expectations, right? I feel like the only way you're going to deliver is if you go in there like flying triangle in the first 30 seconds or something. Is it difficult to know that you've got to go in there and fight your fight, but you know that people want to see like something crazy for it? Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel that, you know, that was something that on my last fights before I came to the UFC, I was feeling everyone, oh, she she went the whole three rounds, you know, but um, I keep that in my mind, you know, I'm trying, now I'm starting to feel like in the UFC that I think the girls will respect my ground, but at the, but at the same time they're not scared to fight you know I think my other fights uh, I would take one step forward and they take 10 steps back you know now I know the girls are going to be willing like to change to, ch to exchange with me and I think that will make it easier for me to really show people my jiu-jitsu style which is like very aggressive going for like submissions you know so I think the UFC is like the platform that people start to see the real McKenzie you know what is the most important to you? I mean, do you want to show that, hey, I'm a well-rounded, complete martial artist? Do you want to show that? Or do you want to show, no, I'm the elite, you know, the high level, the Damian Maya-esque level jujitsu in MMA? No, I, I, I'm, I'm inspired so much by Damian Maya, you know. I, my goal is, to, is always just to get in the fight and leave the fight without any uh, hurt, you know, to not be hurt, not broken nose, no black eyes, you know, that's my goal for sure. But I think I represent jiu-jitsu, just uh, me being me, you know. I come from the jiu-jitsu world, so I think me doing my job is going to represent the jiu-jitsu world. Now I'm in MMA, you know, so I want to be as well-round as possible, you know. My goal in the end, when I'm a UFC champion, is to be, like, dangerous standing up, dangerous everything, you know. If I want to stay in jiu-jitsu and be a jiu-jitsu fighter, I would stay there, you know. So when I made the decision, I knew, like, okay, if I want to be a striker, I'll be a striker. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, don't be like Ronda and and be a striker and think that you're a striker." Yeah, but I'm an MMA, you know. So I, right now, I'm not ready. You know, right now, I'm still like jiu-jitsu saving me. You know, but you know, for sure, my my stand stand up is getting so much better. The wrestling, the cage, all these new things, and I, I hope that when I fight for the title and stuff, people will see me as all around fighter. A lot of focus on you. What do you think about your opponent? Are you are you a kind of person that studies tape, that breaks her down? What, what do you think of Ashley Yoder? Uh, in jiu-jitsu I always was like that, you know, like not to study the tape, but I always would watch the fights when they're happening. Happening Now I think I'm so in the beginning of my MMA career that I'm kind of just trying to focus on me. Um, and I let that kind of job to my coaches. I know a little bit about her, I know that she's like tough, I know that she came off of two losses, so I know that there's going to be that fire in her, in, her, in her soul, you know, to come after the win. And um, I mean, I just know a few things, I think she's more of a grappler in MMA, you know, I think she has more submissions, I think she has more submissions than me, you know. So um, I know that she's a grappler. I don't know if she'll want to grapple with me, you know. So I think that my coaches and everything, we're really excited about this matchup. It's going to be a good challenge. So I'm ready.
I think everybody's excited. I think everybody's curious. So when you play this thing out in your head, when you when you close your eyes and envision how it goes down, I mean, how do you think you get this thing done on Saturday? Ah, uh, submission. I think submission. For sure, I think I will be able to get some punches. You know, I've been training so much with my coach, Eddie Cha, my stand-up, you know, so I'm definitely not going to be uh, trying to go 15 seconds take down on submission. Um, but I think in the end it will be resulting in a submission <laughs> for me. <laughs> Just to clarify. Yeah. <laughs>